Hi, I'm Lisa Sarges, author of Diary of a Fat Girl, How I Overcame Binge Eating Disorder and Learned to Love Myself After Weight Loss Surgery, and my CD, Relaxation with Lisa. They're both available on Amazon. Make it personal. That's the theme of today. Make it personal. Meaning, whatever your goal is, I picked a gym goal because I had been avoiding the gym for 11 years. And I wanted to own it again. I wanted to be back here and I wanted to do it on my terms. I wanted to do it so that I'd be more flexible and I would feel better without the heaviness of a weight loss goal and uh, oh my god I hit a plateau and I have to up my reps and up my time on the bike. I, I don't want all that pressure. I want to enjoy the movement and I want to stick with it so that I can keep my blood flowing and I can feel good and be able to do things like climb stairs and clean house and carry my own groceries and other things that I've been uh, unable to do. My, my mobility has been limited. Um, I went to see my chiropractor yesterday and told him what I've been doing and he was, oh, that's really great. It's good to work up a sweat and I, I didn't say well that's not the goal but okay it just he's a workout guy you know he's a fitness guy and I said you know I've been doing this for over three weeks and the shoulder issue although my range of motion is getting a lot better um, the you know it's it still hurts you know and he worked on it for me he says you know I have shoulder issues too I said really and he says yeah I have two torn labrum and uh, Every day I have to do certain movements and massage and heat and cold and like every day I have to do certain stretches for it. And I'm like, oh, so this is just how it is now? <laughs> I just have this shoulder issue? I mean, I believe everyone can heal and his is a tear. I don't know what this actually is. It's just irritation, I think, in the rotator uh, cuff. But um, it might be just that every day I have to baby my shoulder. I have to do my, 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 these exercises and, you know, this business and I have to keep that uh, rotator cuff open. Maybe that's just how it is now. In order to get my body to work, <laughs> I have to move it a certain way every day. So, okay. I don't want to lose, you know, I mean, I had been so like, like cramped up. I, I, I couldn't do simple things like even wash myself properly you know you have to get the brush that's fine if you need assistive devices use assistive devices why wouldn't you don't let oh my god I should be able to do such and such keep you from getting and using things that help you use things that help you but it was bothering me that I had lost you know the the ability to do certain things and I wanted it back so personalize whatever it is you're doing, whether it's fitness or food or taking on a new commitment, a prayer commitment, a reading commitment, a meditation commitment, make it personal. If you can't sit for 20 minutes a day to read or to do your meditation, then that's not a good goal. If you're constantly struggling to find that time, five minutes. Or make it a lunch hour goal where you excuse yourself. Some of us, I, I remember I used to eat at my desk when I had like corporate jobs. I teach college now. Um, I would eat at my desk because I just had to keep working. I couldn't leave things unfinished. But I also remember uh, a, a walking group. We did we did walking, uh, and when the weather was nice, it was in the Sea Caucus, the Meadowlands area, and the ladies and I would take walks. That was nice. But yeah, so make it personal. What you can do is good enough. If it's five minutes on a lunch hour, fine. That's good. You know, whenever you want to start a fitness commitment, everybody comes in with advice. <laughs> and it's well-meaning. And I appreciate it. It's a way for people to show they care and to get, you know, to feel legitimate about what they're doing, too. It's not a bad thing unless you get pressured to say yes. Don't do that. You just nod and smile. The first thing people will do is come at you with, well, just take a walk. Just walk. You know, that's the best exercise, really, is just to walk. Not for everyone. Not for everyone. When my knees were failing, walking just didn't, you know, ground down the remaining cartilage. It was the worst thing. Now I have new, brand new knees, but, um, 
right now walking my ankles killing me my I have this pronated business I need the orthotics um, my ankle hurts a lot so will I walk when it's important yeah I will pop some aspirin and I will walk on the boardwalk with my nephews and I will walk through Disney and I will walk through Hogwarts and I will walk through <laughs> when it's a priority and yeah it'll take me a couple weeks to heal after that but whatever but until I get these issues fixed, also the left knee's starting to bother me. I hope it's just tendonitis. I hope it's not that the prosthetic uh, is loose or anything. Hospital, hospital. No. So, no, just take a walk. No, the treadmill, no. that That's not, no. That doesn't work for me right now. I, the, the bike is great for me right now. That recumbent bike is great. So when people come at you, well, just take a walk, just do this, so let's do Zumba, let's do something. Zumba would be so hard on my ankle. I wouldn't enjoy it. I love the idea of dancing, but moving that way, I'd come out of there, my ankle would be swollen, and I'd be screaming. Yeah, no. No thanks. So learn to say no to people in a safe, gentle, loving way, or just nod and listen. If they're just talking about, oh, this is what I do, and this is what worked for me, I do that a lot, too. When I first found the Weston A. Price uh, way of eating, no, it's not even a way of eating, it's just a matter of connecting people with local farms and indigenous foods and, and um, unpasteurized milk where it's legal. Um, I was a huge raw milk person. I still am. I just don't talk about it because I don't feel like support, I don't feel like presenting evidence that it's safe and just like leave me alone. I used it. Uh, I attribute that as to what cleared up my plaque psoriasis but I don't care if you do it or not that's that's your thing just don't like make laws to prevent me from doing what I want to do that's that's that but I used to be very preachy you should do this when I was a vegan I was very preachy whole foods oh I was preachy clean eating so I get it when other people do that. They found something that they believe is right and they want everyone to support them. People are going to come at you, just take a walk, just do this, just do that. And just nod and smile and be like, oh wow, I'm so glad that works for you. The only time you really have to draw a boundary is if, you know, they, they say, okay, I'll pick you up on Monday and we're going to go. You know, then you have to say, I'll have to let you know when I'm available for that. Um not ready to take that on you know, say whatever you have to say the only real answer is no thank you but people don't take no thank you why may I ask why because I prefer not to well why I mean you have to do something then they make you feel guilty and it's like oh maybe I should do this thing just stop no no thank you or you know third party oh I have to check with my doctor oh well my my orthopedist I I'm going to see him this week and he's going to whatever. Just do you the way you believe is good for you. And listen to your body. We've listened to other people for so long. We just stop listening to our body. And that's so important for me. Rather than listening to um, the praise and approval. I still like praise and approval. <laughs> I'm not 100% cured. cured. Uh, it makes me feel good. I allow that for myself. Um, but I would push myself so hard physically to try to impress people who were a, a very athletic. I wanted their approval. I wanted them to say, way to go. I wanted their cheering for me. I wanted to push myself, push, because you got to push past and push past the pain and push, push, push. So I know I can do that. Uh, I was a little out of sorts on the bike today. Uh, my heart's been a little flippy floppy. I don't know. It's weird. I have a heart murmur. I don't know if I should worry about it or not. I don't have tachycardia. Like, I, I, I checked. It's not racing. It just feels a little funny. I don't think it has anything to do with the exercise. Um, whatever. And I felt a little short of breath. Not out of breath like, oh, doing cardio now. I was like a little short of breath. So I did eight minutes on the bike and I stopped. And, you know, I, I did some deep breathing. And I, and I went and did the machines, and then I thought, well, I guess I'll have to talk about the fact that I only did eight minutes on the bike today, because my promise was to do ten. And I thought, but that could be a lesson, that you have to listen to your body when you're pushing 
too hard. It's, it's, it's one thing to push. You know, getting on and off the bike is a big deal for me still because of flexibility issues and strength issues. So I, I applaud myself in my head. I'm like, good job getting on the bike. Good job climbing on that bike. But after eight minutes, I needed a break. So I went and did the machines and I was just about to come out to the car to make the video and I thought, I'm good now. And I went and I did the two more minutes to make it a total of 10. I chose to do that. It's okay to break things up, make things more manageable. Personalize it, make it personal. This is for you. Don't let somebody push you into doing something that's not you. If you think having a walking buddy is good, then then let somebody do that for you. I've had workout buddies in the past. I stayed more consistent. I think there was just one woman, Patty, her name was. Uh, she's in higher ed now. Uh, I forgot where she is, but she stuck with it. And if she missed, it was because she was sick and didn't come to, to work that day. And she rarely, if ever, uh, missed. So most people... I don't want to say most people. In my experience, a lot of people, they say they're going to be with you on the deal and then they quit. But I know a lot of people who aren't quitters and who will stick with it. If that works for you, get a workout buddy or an accountability buddy. Something. But if that doesn't work for you and you need your privacy and your space and you don't want anybody with you for whatever it is you're doing, then that's cool too. Just say, I'll let you know when I want that. Thanks for offering. So, make it personal. Your preferences matter. Your body is talking to you, telling you what it can take and what it can't take. And uh, I wore gray today. Uh, I usually wear darker colors, but... It's funny how the camera is, you know? You look uh, a certain way at certain angles. <laughs> so vain, so vain. Anyway, have a good day. Take care of you. And hit that like button, will you? Thanks.